All right, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is about to set the world on fire with sales records out the butt. I don't even... I'm, I'm trying to comprehend this because we know how amazing Animal Crossing did and other games have launched that this year. Ghost of Tsushima was a, a, an amazing launch as well. But uh, we got a little bit of data here that's it pointed to a very bright future for this game in the limited time it's available. But before we talk about that, hey, speaking of a best-selling game, we're giving away three copies of it. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Three copies are being given away. Uh, announced on October 1st will the winners be, as as will a Nintendo Switch and two Switch games of choice. That's right. We're giving away all six of those those items of six different people uh, to win. Go down into the description. tells you how to enter. Wish all of you guys luck. Uh, be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well because even though that's one of the entry things, uh, you have to be subscribed to win. It's just kind of my thing. Um, I'm trying to reward you know, actual subscribers of the channel, so uh, be sure you're, you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into this. So there's a bunch of sales data out there, sort of. Uh, when I say sort of, it's because we don't have numbers yet. Now, we will have numbers from Japan in about two days. Usually on Wednesdays is when we get the update from Japan, and we'll have numbers uh, MPD-wise. We're not going to get that until the middle of October, unless Nintendo decides to announce something early, which they sometimes do. They did announce it early for Animal Crossing, so we'll see. Uh, but right now, maybe unsurprisingly, we know where Super Mario 3D All-Star stands. So in almost every major territory where Amazon is a primary online retailer, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is the best-selling thing on the, on, on, on the gaming sector. Does that surprise anyone? It's the best-selling game in the gaming sector right now in all of those places. It was that way almost before launch. It's that way now. Basically, as soon as uh, 3D All-Stars got restocked, it jumped from like number two to number one just like that. Uh, so we'll see how long it stays there. It'll probably stay there as long as Nintendo can keep the game in stock. Also, kudos to Nintendo. They ended the whole stock debate real quick. They're already getting new stock out there to retailers. So good on them. 3D All-Stars is going to be plentiful supply at least through the holidays of this year. Uh, that being said, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, we actually have an overall sales chart uh, for an entire country. And that country is the UK. And right now, right now, according according to uh, yuki.org, that UK, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is the number one selling game last week. It overtook Marvel's Avengers, and then right behind that's Animal Crossing. Then on, on down the list, you can see a few of the top ten there. So... I honestly am really, really happy about this in a certain way. Now, if you're someone who's really critical about this game, think it's not worth the 60 bucks, you got to be disappointed to see this game at the top. It's probably going to be the top of the charts for MPD. It's probably going to be the top of the charts in Japan. I mean, this game, 10 million? 10 million in, in, in September? C can, we, can we say that worldwide? 10 million? Animal Crossing numbers? I, I think so. I think that's what we're looking at here. Got to remember... Odyssey sold 18 million so far. This thing crossing 10 is not going to shock anyone, or at least <laughs> not going to shock me. So people that are critical of the price and don't think it's worth it and think they were lazy, they're not going to be happy at these charts today. The rest of us that maybe are just happy we have these games, let alone in HD on Switch, that gladly paid 60 bucks for it, man, you got to be thrilled. This also... With the sales of this, we have to wonder, is it selling this well because it's limited? Or is it selling this well just because it would have sold this well? It's something to understand because when, when you do when you announce something's only available for a limited time, it does entice people to more quickly go out and buy it. So it, it is something to wonder. It is something to think about. You know, are they actually trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of this given situation? I don't know. I don't have an answer. But what I do know is it's selling incredibly well. And if it keeps selling this well all the way to March 31st, I don't know how Nintendo doesn't extend that date. They did it with the NES Classic because of demand. They did it with the SNES Classic. They got to extend the date, right? Like, if it keeps selling this well, they're not going to leave sales on the table. I don't think. Now, obviously, so we'll get the Japan update in a couple days. Probably do a video on that as well when it comes because I expect... I expect some huge numbers. Maybe I was, I, I was predicting 500,000 before. Maybe it'll hit a million. Will it hit a million in Japan? That that would be, that would be insane. Uh, but yeah, it's at the top of the UK charts. We'll see if it stays there after this week. Obviously, we have seen the Animal Crossing, you know, sitting at number three, has has staying power. So the big thing is, will Super Mario 3D All Stars have staying power all throughout the holiday season? We'll find out. We'll find out. 
Uh, MPD wise, we'll find out about that as well. Um, soon ish, couple weeks. Top of Amazon charts. I I don't know what to really think. So I'm just going to end the video here. Nice little quick one for you guys. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you in the next one. We got a prime news episode coming up for you guys. Catch you there.